Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a viewer writing in, comment on one of the videos on YouTube, um, on one of Art of the Image videos. Gatu Bakshi is the, uh, is the YouTube user. He says, hello, sir. Is D850 overpriced? He's got four question marks there. So the question is, is the Nikon D50 overpriced? And um, interestingly enough, I just wanted to cover, first of all, we, already, we had some, some answers to him. Uh, Charles Vandergriff wrote in um, as a reply on the comments, compared to the Sony a7R 3 and the Canon 5D Mark IV, it is on par in pricing. High Ground Productions wrote in and said, no, for what it offers? Overpriced? Question mark? No. Bloody expensive? Yes. Yes, chances are you probably don't need one. If you want a pure high-res beast for landscapes, uh, landscapes, grab a D800E. Still great. Bilal Sheikh wrote in and said, High Ground Productions, yeah, you are right. He can instead go for a used 800E or a D810. They offer almost the same image quality. So I wanted to share that feedback with you there because that's essentially the gist of how I would have answered that if I hadn't have even read those. In other words, for what it offers, no, not overpriced at all. The D850 is actually probably one of the best values out there. Is it expensive? Sure it is. You, but you pay for what you get. It's a beast of a camera. It's one of the highest resolution cameras out there. It's one of the best performing cameras out there. It's one of the best cameras if you want to stay in the 35 millimeter system and not get into medium format but still compete with people shooting medium format. We're talking a beautiful high-res 46 megapixel sensor and the ability to use the entire Nikon arsenal of lenses and I mean, that's, that's a very powerful system to be shooting commercial work with. Not only that, the D850 gave us the most advanced to date of Nikon's offering for 4K video. Amazing 4K video system in the Nikon D850. As you know, I've had it here. I've reviewed it. I was uh, lucky enough to be able to get one of the first units out of Nikon Canada for review. It may have even been the first. Um, a pleasure to shoot with. For those of you familiar with the D810, with the D800E, with the D800, brainless switch over. In other words, you take that, pick up that D850. If you're used to shooting pretty much any of the Nikon bodies, but if you're coming from a D810, it's, it's second nature to you. It's a beauty, beautiful beast, beautiful thing to shoot with. Um, the 4K video was amazing. The ability to extract stills out of that 4K video, just the quality of the 4K video, if you want to shoot with it as a production camera, is really, really nice. So overpriced? No, not at all. It's you know, arguably the best DSLR on the market. For the money, it also, I mean, it's, I've, I've made the point before that it's the best value or the best camera on the market for 99% of most people's needs. It's a truly amazing camera. Is it expensive? Sure it is, because you're getting like the best camera on the market, but they're giving you the farm for that price. So for the price you're buying in at, you're getting so much value built into that camera. There's not a lot you can't do with a D850. Like I said, it can compete in the realm of medium format cameras. So good points here though, um, compared to the a7R 3 and the 5D Mark IV, it's totally on par for pricing, but I think it delivers more value with the exception with the a7R 3 The a7R 3 I would argue is probably a better video camera. I just prefer the Nikon lens lineup, so that becomes a totally separate issue. But as far as on par for pricing, Certainly, and that's why I think you're getting so much value out of the 850. Um, the good points made by High Ground and Bilal, though, are if you find that to be too expensive for your tastes or your needs or you just your budget, certainly look at an 800, an 800E, or a D810. All still fantastic cameras. They can be had now that the D850 is out for a much better price. You can get them used, you can get them refurbed, and I would certainly look at one of those offerings if I wasn't wanting to step up to, to pay the full premium on an 850. 850 is a great camera. Don't think it's overpriced, but you can get an 810 or an 800 for a lot less money, and they deliver a lot of the bang that the 850 does. A little bit less resolution. You have 36 megapixel sensor versus a 46. You're not going to be able to shoot 4K. You got 4K on an 850. You've only got 1080 on the 800 and the 810, but still an amazing camera of Always loved shooting with the 800 series. When I've had the 810 in here, I was always sad to see it go. It's a beautiful camera. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? The 850 or the, yeah, the Nikon 850, it's not overpriced. 
Is it expensive? Yes, but not overpriced. Do you disagree with me? Do you think it's overpriced? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think and why I'm pricing on the 850? Do you think it's good value for the money? You know I do. What do you think? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, let's help out uh, Gatu and his question. And thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.